All right, so check this out. I have this little check domain availability, kilporzio.com, check it, and oh, it's available. But that was pretty ugly. Watch, if I click this, it just like pops up and that's just not good enough. So in LiveWire 4, we have a new API called Wire Transition. You just add Wire Transition to any element and then it will automatically transition. So check this out. Now when I click this, ah, it kind of does a little bit of like a fade in and that's nice. You can just add this to any element and anytime LiveWire makes an update, it is going to use view or the browser's new view transition API to do a basic transition, but you can take it farther and do things that would normally be way, way, way more difficult. So take a look at this to do's component here. And right now, if I hit shuffle, I'm shuffling the to-dos, but you're not seeing any animations back and forth. And this is something that is really, really difficult to do on your own without something like the view transition API. So check this out. I have this loop where I'm looping through each card, nothing complicated at all. I just add wire transition to each element in that loop. And now watch this, I hit shuffle and now they automatically animate whenever they're shuffled perfectly and it's awesome like this should be mind-blowing in itself uh, one more thing here if i hit remove okay so that did transition up but this thing didn't because we didn't add wire transition so watch this element closely when i hit remove it just kind of snaps to where it's going and then the the elements the other elements will transition so we want this element to transition as well no problem we just keep adding these wire transitions so now this element is going to transition as well so if i hit remove now everything just smoothly and fluidly transitions hey there yeah cool remove shuffle shuffle remove ooh that is so nice transitioning lists just became unbelievably simple and then the last kind of final boss of transitioning is a registration form so take a look at this all right so we got a registration form or a multi-step form and every time you hit the next step right now it's just bloop, next step and you want there to be some kind of animation so we could add wire transition to every element in the step so all of the steps i'm going to go to each div i'm just going to say wire transition okay so now they all have transitions on them and there we go there's a nice little crossfade and that's good but not good enough we want them to kind of shift as you hit next okay so how do we do that now we want a custom transition not just something that comes out of the box with the browser so for all these wire transitions we can give them a name like step and then in my layout file so layouts app.play.php you can add a bunch of css because these are all browser transitions there's a bunch of css um, affordances for you so i have a keyframe named slide in from right i have slide in from left all those slide ins and then i have these names here step so i'm saying for the old transition step use slide out to the left for the new use slide up to the right and then you'll just see you don't have to worry about that that's just css you'll look up how to do it your llm knows how to do it whatever so now if we try this we get that beautiful forward transition where both the old one animates away and the new one animates in, which is great. You can make all any animation you want. You decide what the animation should be, opacity, transition, scale, whatever. But if I hit the back button, it doesn't look like it went back, even though it did go back. We need to kind of reverse all those transitions. So I defined a new set of transitions based on a type called backward that just changes them so that the old one slides out to the right and the new one slides in from the left instead of the reverse, okay? But how do we apply a transition type? Well, you do that up here imperatively. There's a few ways to do it, but I think this is my favorite. On previous step, I wanna use the transition attribute and say that its type should be backward. And now it will apply the backward transition type after you click this button and LiveWire does its thing, it's gonna apply that type and then CSS will pick it up and do whatever it needs to do. So forwards is still gonna be normal, but backwards is going to use that type and apply those backward transitions. So you can get beautiful multi-step form animations, uh, you get great list animations, and you get just easy little just fade animations or whatever. Super powerful new thing. I'm currently the most excited about this uh, for LiveWire 4, so dig it.